Just do it this way. I think if I drive the right speed, I should be able to lift and drive and the back will lift before we hit the edge. Yay. Alrighty. I probably don't have to do this. Um, yeah, we're going to end up with with grass on the field that we can't use and because I'm using their baling equipment I'm going to lose all the grass that's left in the um, the baler at the end of the mission. Back when I was using my own equipment to do these contracts which uh, takes a little while if you do it that way um, I could, uh, I didn't mind collecting all of the grass on this field because we just come back and uh, um, what am I saying? We come back, yeah, the, the, the grass is still ours. So when we do our fields, we're just adding our, yeah, their grass to our fields. As I said, we'll try and get the baler to actually do follow this same course. And then, of course, I don't have to um, worry it. I forgot that bit because um, I was doing. I told it to lower the head, the header. It doesn't lower the arms and or the wings until you catch up the wings to the point where the header lowered or time delay. Oh, didn't want to do that. That's This row it should row up to where we were cutting. Nice. So this end seems to be a little bit messed up in that there are missed bits on every row. An OCD farmer doesn't like missed bits on every row. So we'll do that. probably have to go put the uh, big M back in our yard because it's I think going to get in the way of our uh, 
horseplay workers, if I'm not careful. So, nice job that this is. Rear wheel steer does give us a better. Um, I don't know, it's somehow easier to. Uh, harvest when you have rear wheel steering, obviously driving on a highway, not so much. Missed a slight tuft there, but we are good. So, oh, and there's the Massey Ferguson finished, so yay him. Let me drive that forward and the wings split up. And there's a bit that I just can't get at without creating a tuft of grass in the middle of nowhere. So that field should also be done. We'll take the mower back to the yard and I might skip putting it away. I want to wash everything because it's November and obviously um, we're kind of done mowing stuff this year, at least I think I am. Should we check that? Uh, uh, am I done for this year? That's potato field. What the heck's that field? Oh, that's sunflowers? Yeah. So these are, yeah, okay, so these are the last fields that need harvest. Um, as I said, that's a potato field. The problem is, is it's not giving you any borrow equipment for it. So I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. get this so that it uh, follows the track that the mower took. So we drop, unfold it, let's zoom out the view, drop the pickup and oh before we start anything, uh, 220-240-180-220. I have noticed, and I'm very grateful, that when you have a square baler and a um, wrapping contract, it automatically sets the square baler uh, bale size to mid, mid size. So it works with the wrapper. You don't have to mess with it. Okay, I'm going to back this up a little, and we will try, and well, darn it. It won't let me. It won't let let me set up a a course for the baler. Really? Probably should have um, uh, 
Oh, there we go. Working width was... I don't remember. Maybe I should have saved it. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Um, I am going to have to come back and do that manually later. So we'll shut that off. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I can set a working course for the um, for our windrower. Windrowers work, um, balers don't. So good to know. And I, th as I said, I think there's probably a method that I could save the course. That I, that I did with the mower, or I could save the courseware that I'm going to do with the windrower. Um, I probably don't want this this far down. Um, let's just park it over there. Grab the rake. But yeah, save the course and then you can load the course in and have the next tractor follow or the next worker follow the same course. Unfortunately, I think I messed that up a bit. Okay. But, uh, we learn. See this one, I've got the, oh, no, let's go there, go there, um, create job, and open the course generator, work width is 1.4 meters, I presume three headlands, headlands, uh, we'll do smooth, up and down, circle all the road, generate the field work course, geez, has that picked it up right? Because that looks crazy to me, that looks, nah, that looks way too small. What happens if I unfold this? And try again. Um, gonna take a look at working width for this is eight and a half meters. Create job. Open. What was it? Eight and a half meters. Set it to 8.2, I guess. Uh, multiple tools, well, a number of headlands. Three, headland, smooth, up and down. And generate. <coughs> Much better. Showing all the dots. Yay, dots. I thought the start point was over here, it is over here. Okay. Oh, I did miss a small bit there, but that's fine. Uh, right mouse, first waypoint. Ah, 
I'm kind of thinking that probably looks okay. Okay. Um, might need to move this. Just as a thought, I don't want it too close to that other field so that the Massey Ferguson gets upset with it being there. Okay, that should be fine. Is that full? That is full. That's thing. That's full. Let's get this filled up and uh, get these emptied. So control F twice. Well, control F until the vehicle you want to follow is in big text. Once you've done that, you should be good. Um, should have the Deutz following me. So it looks like I'm going to be doing a bunch of bailing and wrapping later today, which wasn't something I planned. Maybe what I should have done was set the mower off and have the baler on follow me. The problem you usually find with doing that is that the mower then gets stuck on bales that the baler's dropped. But then again, the good news is, because it's a square baler, I don't have to... Um, I don't have to stop to unload it. You just drive until all the grass is gone. One of the things I do want to check, however, is um, what sort of signage bales does the contract make? Because we know that contract wrapping happens immediately. You don't have to wait until the next game day. Whereas your own bales is it the next day or the next month? Your own bales, we, our, our bales will not be ready if we wrap them today until the 1st of December, or first day of December. So, um, that's, that's a delay. Um, but with contracts, they wrap immediately, uh, or they ferment immediately. And what I didn't do last time I ran that was to check that what type of bales were produced on a contract because that might make a difference if I can contract um, silage bales and keep the leftovers that aren't required to, to uh, feed the contract um, if they're WCS silage then I can take them to our cow robot feeder and they will work Oh, someone was saying something about silage prices, which is here. Um, whole crop silage, 175, 180. Um, where's the grass silage? Grass silage is $10 cheap, uh, less valuable. 170 to 138. Lost it again. Whole crop silage, 190 to 153. So on this map, um, whole crop silage is more valuable than grass silage and maize silage. Now I could do an edit. Um, that was the thing with the last maize plus um, update. Um, they included disturbed simulations, price adjustments because. Um, the price that they had set on uh, the Maze Plus silage types was just wrong. I can't remember whether they were too high or too low. But he's adjusted them so they're more in line with the average map's sell price. However, the average map sell price is basically a giant's map. And... Um, 
modders can adjust the sale price, the base sale price that you will see for um, crops. And occasionally what they do is they look at the real world crop prices and they will adjust so that if you play on easy mode, I think, the crop prices are... I, it's probably not. It's probably if you play on normal mode, they've got it so that the crop prices are close to real world prices. If you play on hard mode, they'll be half value. And if you play on easy mode, they'll be uh, double value. But your setting, I think when you're modding, you're setting the price for easy mode. So take all that into account, do the math and set the values as they need to be type of thing. Okay, now we get to see how much we've transported. I was not supposed to deliver them here. Okay then. Oops. Sugar mill. Sorry, force of habit. Um, idea. That's the pickup point for the sugar mill. So. I think that's the tipping point. So. We will drive down here. Fortunately, you get lots and lots of sugar beet. I am an idiot. I am too far. But fortunately, that was the small trailer. So we got paid. Hey. Sugar mill. I suppose I should double check and make sure. Okay, contracts down here. Take the product to the sugar mill. Yes, indeed. We need to deliver 457,000 litres. Oh, lovely. Well, at least we won't be clashing the roof as we're tipping. Alrighty, now we should get a percentage delivered. We have delivered 4%. Oh, marvellous. Nope. No, no, no. I should have gone backwards. But yeah, if you imagine I would have to deliver in batches of 12,500 litres, this would not be a fun contract considering the distance we have to drive. Um, a lot of the uh, worker travel routes do not take you on the main roads. We'd probably turn right, drive through the farmyard on the right and across the fields frequently when I've set workers to uh, move equipment to other fields they just get lost and wrapped up in hedges and I end up having to drive across fields and through hedges to actually get where I'm going because they completely lost it obviously the easiest way around the map is you know, if you if you know what you're doing is to follow the roads um, but as you learn your way around the map there are various shortcuts that you can cut through a farm track to get to a place you want to go to um, the big problem I have is the block of fields along the eastern edge of this map um, some are accessed from the yard directly to the east of um, the store 
and others are accessed more easily accessed should I say from where we're going which is the the whatever it is probably the oil factory up at the top here so Massey Ferguson still doing its thing Anyway, so what else have we got to talk about here? Not a lot going on in Michigan. It's very dull, overcast, freezing morning on, I think it was Wednesday. I needed to go to the store for something before work, so I got up at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, got in the car, started driving, and he starts complaining that uh, the tires need inflating because cold, so the air's compacted due to the cold. So I wasn't prepared for that, but oh well. And I wasn't going to inflate the tires at 33 degrees, so. Uh, I had to go out at lunchtime, reinflate the tyres. Um, I guess it might be a good idea to uh, turn the engine on. There now. Okay. Actually, you know what I think here? I think... Oh, oh I'm not sure if he's going to make it. Yeah, he thinks he's blocked. Oh no. Now he doesn't. Well, you pain in the butt. Uh, turn off the worker. Last time I was doing sugar beet contracts, um, the workers were getting close to the conveyor and then you're saying oh no that's just in the way okay we need 5,000 liters more and he's not going to follow the John Deere because the John Deere is 90 degrees off there we go So if I run this down, should keep it on this track here. That should be positioned just right for the conveyor. And I will stop that round about there. is turned on we do not have a harvester running the GPS is active okay we need about 5,000 liters which might happen before the end of this row might not but here's hoping I think it's five thousand. No, it's only twenty thousand liters in the uh, in the big tipper. Uh, 